The band of the Grenadier Guards played as MPs were invited to plant tributes outside the main entrance to the Palace of Westminster, marking the beginning of a week of remembrance in Parliament. Speaker of the House of Commons, Sir Lindsay Hoyle, opened the constituency Garden of Remembrance, which will, by the 11th of November, feature more than 700 tributes. This is our Garden of Remembrance. This is where Parliament starts its own activities. And it's about bringing people together, bringing members of Parliament. And I will be laying my cross on behalf of my constituency. You know, we've got 650 MPs, and we'll have lots of MPs who want to be there in person to actually put their own cross in. They want to dedicate their memory with their message in the same way that I will do as well. Among those present was Defence Secretary Ben Wallace. They shall but grow not old, as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. Also present and representing the Commonwealth was the Canadian Speaker. All losses are restored in sorrows. I'm here to remember uh, those that have fallen, those that are, who have died to give us the freedoms we have. And it's an honour to be in, in the UK. Over the years, Canada and the UK have been great allies, and we fought together for the uh, principles that we have and that we hold so dear to our hearts. It's about the people who served. It's about those that laid down their life for our freedoms, our democracy. Parliament must have existed. You know, if you think the wars that we've had to fight, but the fact is the war, the Second World War, was about tyranny. It was about beating fascism. It was about our freedoms, our freedoms and our rights to ensure doc democracy survives. And that's why it's so important to Parliament. We wouldn't exist without our armed forces. They serve the country. We make the decisions, but they carry out the duty. And I'm always in awe of people who serve. The week culminates on Remembrance Sunday with images of poppies and the late Queen in military uniform being projected onto the Elizabeth Tower. Lisa Hartle, Forces News, London. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.